look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? It's it's still taunting me with the fact that no one's actually put the paving slabs in there, uh, which is where the evil bit of wall was that we have now removed. Uh, no one is going to actually take out this wall, are they? Nope. No, I didn't think so. Oh, Bob? Bob, you going to do it, Bob? Holy crap, Bob, you're a legend. Uh, workman of the week, Bob. Give him a little round of applause. That's a pathetic round of applause, but otherwise I'd smack my microphone and that would be bad. So, they're now installing the pipe. That's good. Um, I'm assuming this means that they haven't put in the water pumping station yet. Nope. And those two... Ooh, the entire two cell blocks are out of power. Now, that cell block's out of power because of the bulls up. That's the bureaucracy tab. Don't want to click that. Because of the bulls up we made with deleting that one bit of power cable. There we go. We'll add that back in. So we've segregated out all of these water bits and all of the power for this area that we're going to add to uh, this new power generating facility. Uh, we haven't segregated off all of the power requirements of these two blocks because it's still connected to that one. So that will be our next job as soon as I force uh, Jeff into moving because he was doing some strange dance with a pipe. It was like a rain dance, but uh, not for rain, for pipe placement. The pipe placement dance. It's very unproductive. Doesn't work well. Not a good thing. Right, how many bits of pipe we got left? Two, and a water pumping station, which is in that box there. See that, you know, flat pack water pumping station? Okay, you can move that. Oh my god, they should have, uh, what are they called? What are they called? Forklift trucks in this game. Devs, please, Chris. For forklift trucks in the game. That would be amazing that your workmen have to drive around to install the, the pump, pump stations. Although, do make them one wide so they can fit through the normal doors. Uh, otherwise, that would be really annoying because you'll have to like take down bits of the wall so you can get them in. Although, that would be quite realistic. Unless it had to come in in like sections. You had like nine boxes for a water pumping station and they all had to be brought in in pieces. I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm theorizing. Who knows? Uh, that should mean the water has been restored to here. Yes, good. Power hasn't, though. So we should do that uh, by connecting up the power cable. There we go. Bob, please doeth like power -th and make lights come on. Because that would be cool. I think the sprinkler system is also connected to this pumping station now. Uh, the sprinkler system that we hopefully have to never use. Uh, yeah. Right, Bob, I'm assuming you're doing that. So while you do do that, I'm going to get some concrete tiles. I'm going to come down here, and I am going to put in the new piece of road. There we go, and all we need is actually to get the road bit of the road, and put that in there, and these two bits there. Cool, new road, bam, in, door here, don't put door there, because prisoners will likely escape. Cool. And we also need to put a door here with the two bits of wall that poke out, the door frame. The frame of the door. Cool. Well, that is pretty good. Uh, how long have we got left? 23 hours. That's a day. We've got one more day to do, and we get our short-term investment. We can do this! Ugh, i just got to have a bit of a stretch. Excuse me. Oh, this chair is so uncomfortable! Okay. Right, on my list. Grant's new school area. We've got the foundations laid for that, so that's good. Uh, we did the grants, so we've got lots of money still. $61,103. Uh, new block, which is this one. Doing that in death row, I've talked about. Okay, so we're getting to the end of the list. Uh, but there are still many things to do, so do not despair. We can still do them. Uh, one of those is making this bit of road here as well. But we have to wait for Bob to do this here first. Uh, because of the Wizard of Oz. And there is a, a gap in this road here, and I think I made that very early on in the series. Uh, and you can't put the little white lines back in it. Bugs me! I want bits of road with white lines on it. Because otherwise people are going to start parking there, because there's no white line. I think that's what it means. It's normally a double yellow line here, but who knows. Right! Bobby, done it yet? No. No. But you have connected up the power to these two blocks, so... All power is now 
coming from this power station for these two blocks. That's um, wings. Wait, is it A, B, C, D, E, F? This is a really weird system, isn't it? A, B, no. A, B, C, D, F. No, wait. A, B, C, D, E. I mentioned E. I missed E. What am I missing? E. Brain. You know the alphabet. Come on. Right. A. B okay. You know what? This isn't a block. We're going to take this out of being a wing. This is just the kitchen canteen area. So it's going to go A, B, C, D, E. But that means that that's not the fail wing anymore. Damn it. That's going to be the fail wing. But it just makes it easier for the whole naming thing. So, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Yep, it'll be like that. It'll be awesome and amazing, and I'll probably end up, like, writing them in. Oh, why don't I do that now? That's such a good idea. Oh my god. Right, um, is this the middle? Oh, this isn't going to be a good idea, is it? Because I'm going to be really picky. You know what? I'll have it done for next time. I will have letters for each cell block. Wing. Prison wing. That's what they're called. They're not cell <laughs> Letters for each cell block. Wow, it'd be like... No, then we'd only be able to label 26 of them, unless I started going A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, A, E, and then it'd be like a spreadsheet, and it'd be really confusing, and I should stop talking about this, because it's strange. Uh, other power station, has that been implemented down here? Yes, it has, and is also powering this water pump. Bad power st Actually, you can power that water pump, to be honest. Uh, I think if I did that, it would blow up, so I shouldn't do that. And it kind of powers half the room. That's cool. Right, so we want power from this power station to be going into the corridor. And where does power normally run? It's along the, the inner edge of the block. Is that right? So it would be this edge. So we'll stick it to that edge there and run it along like that. And the water pump runs on the opposite edge. I adopted that policy due to the fact that it, I had lots of problems with um, cables lying on top of each other. Like here, there's actually a power cable under this cable. Gable? No, pipe. Uh, and as we're not allowed to run the power through it, it just makes it awkward because we don't know where the cable is because it's hidden by the pipe. So, that's why I adopted the new policy of having the one pipe on one side, cable on the other. Easy. Simple. So now I also have to get around this uh, power station without lighting everyone up like a Christmas tree. So, let's go this way and just join it up like that. There we go. So now we're pumping to these two blocks and we're going to pump be pumping to these two as well I think yeah that sounds right hmm. okay uh, who's what's powering this one this bottom power stations powering this block isn't it so we're gonna have to sort out this cable here uh, which is a little bit of a mess but uh, I suppose it's not we can make it a ring main can't we we just have it go the entire way around the canteen area like so Whoop. Bit of lag. We haven't seen a bit of lag in a while. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Right, there's the ring main. It goes all the way around. We'll power everything off of that. We need to cut this cable here and this pipe, and then we're going to have to plumb it in from the other side. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Yeah. I think that sounds reasonable. And we'll have the power cable coming over the under the road here and going in there and also there, and then if death row is there, we can power it through there. I don't know. Or, again, its own power station. So, Bob, if you'll do that for me, thank you very much. Uh, we do actually have power in some of this. So that's cool. Uh, we can see some lights. Nice. There are two lights there as well. That's annoying. Why has it done that? Damn it with the lights. Delete. How, many, how long now? 18 hours. Cool. We could also think about getting a load more prisoners. Oh, red. Um, max security or min security? Max security. Screw it, why not? 29 max security prisoners. Oh, it's gonna get a bit wild in here, isn't it? Yes. But it's okay, we have two more wings on the way, and we are sorting out our power problems pretty well, actually. It's, uh, it's going, it's going good. How have I been doing the pipe? Is it just straight? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So we just go straight to the toilets, like so... And whoa, whoa, whoa. Plumb in the wing so the people that live in here can go pee and a poo and then flush it. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. Auto saving. Thank you for showing yourself for the third time. Ah, oh dear. 
There are some moments in life where you just really want to smash your head against your desk very, very hard. And uh, one of those moments just happened. As as you can see by looking at the short term investment, it is says 71 hours again because the joys of auto saving just crashed the game again on the third appearance of auto saving this recording session. So, I am thoroughly hacked off of auto saving and I'm going to go play around with its settings so it doesn't come up ever again. I'm going to banish it from the entire series of Prison Architect. Well, everything after whatever episode this is, anyway. Uh, because that is thoroughly annoying. So, uh, Bob should hopefully be finishing off all of those little bits that he needs to. I'll put the uh, power on. Oh, God, we were like 16 hours away as well. It spent so long waiting for it. And for it just to be ripped out of my hands right at the last minute. Ah, uh, well, we tried. Maybe I'll whiz on a couple days for next episode, and we'll actually have that short-term investment done and finished, and I'll never have to look at its ugly little waiting-for-funds thing again, because now it's just irritating me. So, we've done quite a bit these last couple episodes. We've managed to add the, uh, the, well, we haven't added the new wing. We've filled it out a bit. We've got the new power station in. We've added in some more cells. And we completely added the uh, new education wing, which is cell block A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, uh, s some letter, which it'll eventually say next episode. So, thank you for watching uh, this episode of Prison Architect. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, and favorite. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.